Hey guys, it's Physio Spartan here again, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Genesis Chain, a raid auto rifle that you get from beating Axis in the new Wrath of the Machine raid in Rise of Iron. So, we're going to look at the perks and look at the description. Suros Ri-41 insert SIVA in this current projectile. Kind of weird. I don't understand it. Whirlwind's Curse. This weapon does bonus damage against Fallen, bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. Also, this is like the shadow price, almost. This has a linear compensator, accurized ballistics, and field choke. It really doesn't matter which one you choose, I go with linear compensator. Uh, focus fire, when zoomed, this weapon fires slower, but causes additional damage, which is good for this. It shoots really slow, but it doesn't really matter, since it makes up for what it lacks in with damage. Next, we have speed reload, high caliber rounds, and hammer forged. I go with hammer forged to max out that range but high caliber round seems to stagger targets quite a lot then we have focus firefly while focus fire is active precision kills cause the target to explode now this is like all the other raid weapons as it's like inclusive to the weapon so now we're gonna do some gameplay of it all right now we're gonna go around the plague land so let's do this cosmetically wise these guns look awesome okay so you see the little thing pop up at the bottom once that focus firefly is active, the little sea room at the bottom will light up. Watch, see if you can see it after. Yes. Multiplasm, I also have that. Uh, it's actually a really good shotgun in the crucible and just for regular overall playing because that increased armor actually makes a difference, especially if you're like a shotgun rusher in the crucible. So let's see if we can get that thing to proc again. There it goes. There's another one and another one. It's got that little noise too. It's cool. And when this weapon goes low on ammo, you can see those little uh, diamonds on the side of the scope light up. And if you didn't know, like before you upgrade these, they don't look like this. They don't have the, that scope or have the SIVA nodes on them. They're just like little, they're just like black versions of it with like holes in it. All burnt up. But, uh, back to Quantiplasm, it's actually a really good, uh, shotgun, especially since it's like, it's that conspiracy theory archetype, and you get that increased agility while having it too, so it's like, intrinsic lightweight or something. So, it's actually pretty good, and cosmetically wise, that one looks cool too, I have the Scar Rifle, the Fusion Rifle, Genesis Chain, and the Shotgun. If you didn't know, the Scar Rifle is Chaos Dogma. Ether Nova is the fusion, and, ca and of course, Quantiplasm is the shotgun. Uh, the rocket launcher is the Sound and Fury, and Hard Raid mode comes out tomorrow. Probably not gonna do that. I mean, I already had enough luck trying to get this. LSG's pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> so, uh, I also didn't know about the Outbreak Prom thing either. Like, I was trying to go get it, and it turns if, if you go to orbit. You lose your progress. I've been kind of stupid then. Oof. It's really satisfying to see those things prop. Just weird to see Firefly on an auto rifle. Like it's been, it was, it's good for this arm type because it's the shadow price. So. Except it's a little faster than shadow price. It has more of the mag than shadow price. And if you look at the impact, it's actually a little higher. Not by a bunch, but only a little. So let's get some more of this. And then, uh, make sure this captain and we'll go to play some Archon's Forge with this baby. So now we're in some Archon's Forge. Just happened to jump into one. And, you know. I've tried that thing that works, like how you like walk into it, and it, it seemed to work, it just worked for me now. I'm not trying to get that part to prop, it just isn't. The stability on this is just, it's not, it's not the best, but it's pretty manageable, it's pretty, it's pretty forgiving, you know. That little explosion is all worth that stability. But, uh, I go with Hammer Force, because that range is pretty crucial, you can't add any stability to it really. Oh, that guy got burned. Heavy, no, come to me. No, come back. Get that heavy. Up. 
and I don't think speed reload, speed reload is pretty crucial. It's not really that much because, you know, it already reloads pretty fast for its archetype. I mean, it's got 70 reload as the stat. It's got some pretty good range matching out of it. I think it's 54. Yeah. So we're almost done with this one. I don't really care if those red things hit me. Oh, I got you, dude. Oh, never mind. Looks like he's got you. I got this captain. That bonus, that bonus damage actually is a big difference. You can tell it when, like, if you're going around the playground trying to kill the brood mother, you can tell the difference. Well, that was easy and quick. Oh, how do you miss that many golden gun shots? Maybe we'll do another one. I have an offering. I have a few. I have an enhanced shank runner. Whatever you call it, Shanks. That's all I know. So we're not gonna be see that purple rocking a bunch in this next one. Probably switch to the fusion rifle in a second. You're gonna let me put one in. And my opinion, the fusion rifle is actually good in the Crucible too because it's faster firing, so it's really aggressive and it's got pretty good range and stability. Uh, so that you can actually see how much the melee and grenade goes up when you get that so we'll use that I don't feel like using chaos dogma I mean it's 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 decent but I mean it's more for bosses and walkers like that fallen like fallen walkers from watching uh data it's like you can get off 44 shots in one mag if you land all the crits with the extended mag and that's a bunch of damage I also want to get outbreak prime but you know, that's that's why I'm in the future. Because it took me all the way up until August to get touched with Malice. This is easy. We're already 60% and like just started. See, look at all the energy that I just got. Well, let's see if we can kill something else with it. Let's see how much that energy will go up. Let's see. That grenade is almost, ooh, that melee is almost fully up there. Up oh, now it is. Only 100%. Wow, okay. So, let's do this kit. Stop shooting me. And, we'll just use super here. He's gonna be easy to take down. And if you guys hear something in the background, it's probably my mic. It's got really bad feedback. Like when I'm playing with my friends, it'll like make that staticky noise. But okay, that's the review of the uh, the raid auto rifle.